Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a chart that will automatically highlight the best three months in a period, in this case, a 12 month period. So on the screen, I've got an, a finished example where you can see how this works. So there's the formula, there's a formula in this column, column C, to work out which is the biggest amount the top three amounts in this list and that's what those are and then the orange bars are picking that up now if i make one of these the biggest so the highest figure is 21 so if i go 22 something 22,000, that now becomes the largest amount and this picks it up and then that orange bar on the graph represents the now largest in that list if I add extra things in, if I just come down a few extra months and just bring some figures down as well. So I've got some extra figures. Now, it's got April 23 there as the third biggest month. Now, if I put that down to 12, that's now disappeared and this one's now the biggest month even though this is still only showing the three initial ones because what I've got happening behind here is just the last 12 months of data using the offset function so I'll just push this back over there now I haven't actually pulled this formula down either so that should pick that up no it's not it's that one yeah, there's none in there that that's correct in this list but in the last 12 months these are correct. So if I change this figure January to a large amount, click away from that, that becomes the largest figure. So we've got May, July and Jan in this list because these formulas are looking at the last 12 months and that's what that's picking up. And that is outside of the last 12 months. That's why it's not picking that one up. So what I'm going to do is recreate this again on a separate sheet from scratch. So I'll just copy some of these figures and then do the go down to December. So I'll copy those, go on to a new sheet and paste them. So the first thing I did was use the function to work out what the best three um, figures in this list is so you can see them there 21 22 and then it's a bit of a guess it's five I think so basically I used a named range first of all so I'm just going to highlight column B and call that amount I think I can call it amount yep and then I just referred to that so the formula I use is equals if and then if B2 is greater than or equals to then I use the large function, the large function, and the list is amount, and then I want the top three, so I'm putting a three there, to close that bracket, so that's what it's going to look for. If that's true, if it's one of the largest ones, I want B2, otherwise, quote, quote, I want nothing to show, close the bracket, click the tick, and then pull that down format that to pounds so that's now showing me those three so it was that one not that one the largest in that list then I created a graph on this so I'll just highlight this data so it's insert chart and I wanted a bar chart and then basically that's what I want so I'll just go finish and then I want these orange bars to be overlapped so because these are the three these are these three for the rank. If I double click on the orange bar, it gives me this option to overlap. So I'll just put 100 in there, 100%. OK, so they overlap. And now if I right click on these orange bars, uh, insert data labels, you'll get the data labels on there. Now, I don't really need this, so I'll get rid of that. And this is upside down. So if I double click on that, I can reverse the direction. OK, so it it marries up with this direction so that's how I did that graph so if I reduce one of these something else will be the the top figure 
and you can see it changing there straight off. So if I do that again on this one, okay, the figures all change over. So that's great, but what happens if you start adding extra data? So if I just highlight these two and come down and then just copy this down, well, I'll copy both of these down actually. Okay, so that, that is now the highest figure, but this, this hasn't really picked it up. It's still stopping at December 2022, so if I click on it, I'd have to repoint it to pick up the next 12 months, which is a manual process that I don't really want to do. So what I'm going to do is just delete this graph for a minute, delete this graph. I'm going to use the offset function with the count A function to get me the last 12 months. So if I just start in cell B2 and go equals offset, open the bracket. So I'm going to offset that cell, comma. Now the number of rows that you need in the offset function you could type, but that would be a manual process again. I'm going to use the count A function, which I've done videos on before. So I'm counting all of these. Close the bracket. Minus 12, I want. And then comma zero, don't want any columns. And then close the bracket. Let's see what that brings back. So that's brought back June 2022. So I don't want minus 12. It's because I've got these extra things in. Let's just get rid of these. So it must be, let's go for minus 13. Let's see what that does. That's it, minus 13. So I can pull that one across, change that into pounds, and then just pull this down until I get December. So that's now picking that up. So that is working. Now what I want it to do is change over if I just pull these two down let's see what happens so it's picking up January so it's working how I want it to work so that's now working correctly it's picking those two up so I'll just undo that for a minute now I need to use this formula on over here so that it will pick up the top three from this list which will be the last 12 months this will be the top three forever going forward but I only want to see the top three in the last 12 months so I could just copy and paste that formula but let's just do it again so you get another go at it so it's equals if open the bracket so in this case I haven't named this list I will name it actually let's just get rid of that let's just call this sales so if I go equals if this is greater than or equal to sales, not sales, large, and then sales, comma three, close the bracket for the large, so that's that's the test. That's sales is this list, three, the top three. Comma, if that's true, I want that to come in comma or blank quote quote close the bracket so that's the formula click the tick get a blank double click it down format it to pounds so i can put the titles across if you want you can put the titles on there just copy them across now i want the graph to look at this so if i just do the graph again highlight the data insert chart pick the bar chart wait for it to finish double click on the orange put a hundred percent overlap on it right click on the orange insert data labels so it's only putting the figures on because the blank blank the quote quote is just a blank space and this is upside down so double click on this reverse direction okay don't want the legend click on that delete so that is now how i want it so if i just click on this and move it up to the top 
don't really need to see that stuff behind. So this is showing me January to December. Now if I grab two months again and pull these down. So now it's going from June to May. And as I pull this down, you can see it's always giving me the last 12 months. So it's October 22 to September 23. And it's always highlighting the biggest figure, the biggest sales figure. If I just change one of these to be the biggest. So it just does the bar slightly different so you can see it. So as this table is growing, this sales table, this will show you the, the last 12 months. This will show you all, all the data. So it's totally up to you. You want that. You probably want both, to be honest. But this is what this little video is about. How to create a chart that will automatically colour up the best three months of the year. And make sure that that chart is only displaying the last 12 months of a sales list. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.